Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Wolfstalker25, and today I got another action figure review for you guys on the Kinda New Now. Um, this is like the third week of recording these What If reviews, but this is the Kinda Newish released Marvel Legends What If The Watcher Build a Figure Wave Doctor Strange Supreme, I think is the name. I don't have the box anymore, I already pitched it. Um, I'm recording this on the 10th, so it is a Wednesday as I'm recording this. This was supposed to be our Tuesday review. Sorry about that. I've been really busy around my house and everything like that. Going through a whole bunch of stuff here. But, uh, should be back in order. Very tired, so you guys didn't get a review today on Wednesday. But now, today is Thursday's review. The 11th. This is Doctor Strange Supreme. Um, Sorcerer, is it Sorcerer Supreme? Or Doctor Strange, I, I don't remember. Uh, I think it's just Doctor Strange Supreme was the name of this figure. But this is a really cool figure, very cool sculpt. I didn't think I was going to want this one at first. Um, I was not looking forward to it at all. So let's take a look at the figure a little bit. But you got those dark, like, bags under the eyes. Nice detailing for the eyes there. It's a little harder to see at the camera angle. I need to get my lighting a little bit better. But this, like, I didn't think I was going to want this animated Benedict Cumberbatch look at first. But now having it in hand, I really do like it. And it is very, like, similar but different than the Doctor Stranges we've already gotten. So, the sculpt works awesome. I feel like there could have been some painting, like, on these little buttons here. Either gold or, or silver. I feel like that would have helped a little bit more. Maybe if the straps were painted. I feel like they're supposed to be, like, a brown or something. Or maybe, like, this orangey color um but i really like the look of the golds like the reddish purple almost maroony color i think um it's very nice i do i do really like it now what i really love is this cape though this purple and gold and the black like the black and gold just looks amazing i love this detail on it it's a nice softy soft rubber plastic so you can completely crush the thing squeeze it um I, I really like this. You don't need it on, uh, but having the look of it on him is very nice, though, I will say. so. But we're going to leave the cape off for the rest of the review, uh, but this is what it looks like with it fully on him. It does add a little bit of back weight, so but it does look very nice. I do really like that cape. Now, one other accessory that you do get with this guy, and that is it, is you get the Time Stone hand effect piece, which is very similar to the... Uh, previous Doctor Strange from the three pack, um, you got a hand piece like this, but it's a lot darker and deeper of a green, and so this light, light one that they did here, and I really like the look of this way better since the time sound effects are always so, so much like they're so like vibrant and everything and they always look so good but yeah the, i really like this effect piece very nice um but that's all you get no extra hands nothing like that besides that one no other accessories no eye of agamotto time stone which is very weird because this character should have that so um i'm probably gonna steal one from one of my other figures but uh to give to this guy but yeah very nice so how's the articulation on him well this arm doesn't want to go down as far, which is a little bit of a bummer, because this one's very down and low. But the arms could go that high. You have a bicep cut. Double jointed elbows, which gets you closed that much. Very nice. No wrist like spot here, but the wrists do swivel and hinge. They all do have the, uh, the horizontal hinge, not the verticals, on, the, on all the wrists. Um, you get this, like waist cut which gets you back that far forward that much nice pivoting side to side that would be your waist cut you could do a full 360 with it as well head looks back that far does look down that much and they do have nice tilting which is really nice um i think the neck actually yeah the neck actually rotates as well so the neck and head going down gives you a lot so you get a lot of movement with this doctor strange this is actually a fantastic like range up in the head and neck on this figure um the legs do have an upper thigh cut right yeah there's an upper thigh cut hidden away in there i think is mine stuck okay so my one my my right leg is stuck um so upper thigh cut does have double jointed knees but because of the the like skirt piece here 
you're only going to get them up that much, so you can't really get the double joint and knees like to affect a ton with that. Um, you can fully, let's see if we bring the leg up. Yeah, that's, that's as good as you're going to get the knee, it looks like, um, because the skirt does have a boot cut and then an ankle pivot as always as well and then he does have the ankles that go back that far and forward that much very nice so very good very good articulation is awesome with this figure uh i would ask for a little bit more maybe an upper body like for the torso oh yeah and let's see how dr strange here does with the splits yeah that's that's as far as you're getting them because of the skirt unfortunately um but oh yeah and then they do come forward that much and then back that far because of the skirt too. So that's as much range as you're going to get with this figure. Limited because of the, the harder shell with that. And this Doctor Strange does stand about six and a quarter inch tall. A little bit over six and a quarter inch tall. But uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I really like this What If figure. Um, now, how does this Doctor Strange scale up to other Hasbro lines? He is with a Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red and a Star Wars The Black Series Captain Rex. Very nice. Um, and here he is with your Figma Samus and your Halo Spartan Collection Series 3 Master Chief from Jazzware. Um, she's a bit taller there. And Put Samus and Chief off to the side. Alright, now here he is with your Mafex Batman and your Mezco Stealth Iron Man. Pretty good. I think he scales up very nice with both of those two. Um, put Iron Man off to the side over there. Batman back over here. And what do we still got? We got our Figma Goku. And our Revel Tech All Might, which is way bigger. So, pretty good scale so far. I think, I mean, obviously, I wish some of the other things are smaller. Some of the other things are a little bit bigger. Um, let's take a look with another character from the Wave. Here he is with your Spider Man Miles Morales Gamerverse figure, which I should be reviewing either tomorrow for Friday or next Wednesday and then here he is with the previously reviewed figure of the of the no way home wave uh, this spider-man as well so there's your there's your look with both of those to get a look of dr. strange with him and then here's is your dr. strange supreme I think is the name I'm still gonna probably get it wrong with your previous uh, Doctor Strange from the three pack from Avengers Infinity War and then here he is with your Doctor Strange from No Way Home now these all look really good together the heights match up pretty good um, they're very similar in size and scale uh, I do think I would almost like it if like this figure came with like these hands from this one. Now what you can do though, this is a nice trick. What you could do is you could take the hands from this Doctor Strange and let's see if they work in this one. I believe they do. So, and there we go. Snaps right in perfectly. So you can give Doctor Strange Supreme the cool like yellowy effect. It seems like the wrist is a little loose maybe. Um, but it does work in there. You can use it. They do have, I think, the same wrist pegs, uh, it looks like. So, if you wanted to, honestly, the best way to deal with this figure would be to almost get two No Way Home Doctor Stranges. If you're really down for that, steal the Eye of Agamotto from that one and the extra hands, and then throw them on this Doctor Strange. And then there you go. You have, like, a perfect What If Doctor Strange from combining both and you could give them time stone hand and an energy effect hand like this um, or you could just you know steal the uh, eye of Agamotto from this strange and uh, throw it on this one which is probably what I'm gonna do oh, there it goes that one's getting retired to the bin anyways so yeah there you go now one more switch I want to do one more little check I want to see is how does the 
normal No Way Home Benedict head look on the What If body? And then how does the What If head look on the normal body? So. Alright, so there's the What If head on the normal. There we go. There's your look at them with the head swap. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like almost that the the head here sits a little too low on this figure and it's almost sitting a little too high on this one like it's just like this head is a little too small maybe or maybe this head is a little too big might be this one because I gotta get a lot of detail in on that one too to get the face right but it doesn't look bad I think it does look pretty good I really do like the look of them especially with the eye of Agamotto stolen from the other one given to this one uh, I think it works out and I really do like the looks of them so so far really great figure overall I really do like it I'm happy to get it honestly um, I didn't think I wanted it at first like I said the what if figures before the show came out I knew I was excited for it but like looking at the figures I wasn't really thrilled about the animated looks I was just kind of like, eh, you know what, I'll get Spider-Man, maybe. Um, the only one I truly wanted was uh, Captain Carter. And then I saw the Watcher build a figure, and I figured, you know, I kind of need that. And then after watching all the episodes of What If... Uh, they all, all the figure, like, all the character looks all kind of grew on me, and now having it in hand, you know, I'm glad I didn't skip on it. Um, would I have liked to get the figures a little bit cheaper and maybe waited a little bit longer if possible? Yes, but for the price point of about 20 to 22 dollars, I think I might have paid even like 18 for Doctor Strange here, um... It's not bad. I really, I, I like him. He'll probably fit into the shelf. I usually don't duplicate figures. Like, if there's one Doctor Strange, there's one Doctor Strange. But, like, there's a couple characters up there who have an exception. Like, Wanda, actually. Uh, I have her Disney Plus variant and her Civil War variant. Or, I think it's Civil War. Her Civil War variant still up on the shelf. So, yeah, Doctor Strange is probably going to be one that actually double dips. And there's going to be two up there being the No Way Home new one and the uh what if one so yeah pretty great figure I'm very excited to have it articulation's pretty good sculpt work is phenomenal the just everything about this figure is really awesome except i feel like there's missed paint throughout the belt and all the straps and stuff like that i feel like that could have been you know added as an extra thing if you wanted to give this thing even more of a premium on it but uh, overall, great figure. Really happy to have it. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you found the review helpful. Uh, I really do like this figure, and like I said, he's gonna be on the shelf. And I just I love the, I love the cape. If I can't if I don't put the figure out, I'm gonna use the cape somewhere. Trust me. Really like that cape. So. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, as always, would always appreciate it if you guys did leave me a like if you did enjoy the video, as well as a subscribe if you're new and haven't done so already. I am trying to get that 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I know I missed a lot of this week's videos, but uh, I should be doing Friday and Saturday this week as well, and then we'll be back to our normal uh, Tuesday through Friday next week. Um, next week, also, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl does come out, so I will be probably playing that over on the gameplay channel and possibly streaming it over on twitch i'll link the twitch channel below in the description if you do want to check that out i will probably be playing that friday and or saturday night if i decide to stream it i'll let you guys know over on twitter which if you want to follow me over there but uh we did hit i think 78 i think 78 subscribers recently over here on the review channel um which is awesome we're almost there to 100 so i would always appreciate it if you guys helped me get there by the end of the year that would be awesome because i didn't expect this channel to grow so soon so uh i will catch you guys tomorrow with either a miles review or we're gonna still do the uh the sh figure arts avengers one thor um one of these two is coming if not one of these two expect this guy either tomorrow or on Saturday. So we got Articuno. Just got that in the mail today. So Pokemon breaks the rules and jumps in front of all the other like 20 figures that uh, are waiting to be reviewed. So yeah, expect that either Friday or Saturday. So I will see you guys tomorrow for whatever video is next. And uh, yeah, have a good one, everyone.